this app that we're building, we're going to take the President's Quiz app that we had built before, and we're going to extract the data from it and move it out into a web database. Let's start by reviewing what we already had for the previous app. Uh, we see that we had the main uh, quiz activity, and in that particular app, we hard-coded all the information for each of the questions, the answers, and uh, also the uh, the images that were used for each of the questions. We also had this other helper file which was the question.java which contained the structure for each of the questions. So in this version of the app what we're going to do is we're going to take this data and extract it and move it over to a Firebase database and when this app initializes we're going to load this data from the database instead of uh, having it hard-coded into the app. As we get started here, one of the first things we're going to do is we are going to install Firebase into our app. To do that, we have a convenient shortcut provided to us by Android Studio. We can just go over to File, Project Structure, and uh, click on Cloud and then check this box uh, for a Firebase database. And if we hit OK, OK, so what it's doing now is it's syncing the Gradle project to work with Firebase. And we're going to have a look at what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, even though a lot of the work is being done for us, uh, we want to make sure we understand exactly what's happening so that if we ever have to build an app like this with a different uh, IDE such as Eclipse or something like that where much of the work to install Firebase will be done manually uh, we'll understand exactly what's been done. When we click on this Android manifest file here on the left we can see that the one of the things that adding Firebase to our app has done is it's caused Android Studio to add this permission that allows our app to access the Internet our app will not be able to work with Firebase unless it has internet access. If we open up our app folder and look in the source and we see that there's a file here called build gradle and if we open that file up we can see all the build dependencies that exist for our app and when we added Firebase to this app Android Studio went ahead and inserted this dependency for Firebase and what this does is if Firebase undergoes any changes it'll make sure that our app gets recompiled. So uh, that's uh, two of the automated things that Android Studio provides for us when we add the Firebase but in addition to that there's one manual thing that we have to do in this section in the Android definition, right under the build types, uh, we need to add something called packaging options. In here, we need to add these three exclusions to avoid some build errors. So just with these minor changes, we have now installed Firebase into our app. Just to make sure we haven't done anything to break the existing app, after adding Firebase to our app without actually using Firebase, we're going to go ahead and rerun the app, rebuild it and all, and make sure that nothing has broken. Okay, we've got the app running in the emulator, and it looks like it's working okay. Uh, so it looks like we haven't broken anything. So let's go on now and add some code to our app to make it work with Firebase.